Hi there, it's Erica from Etiquette. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what could be a potentially very exciting development within the tea industry because apparently scientists have discovered the first tea plants that don't have any caffeine in them and that is the first time that this has actually been discovered. It was reported initially back in November 2018 in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Science. Um, so yeah, until now all tea plants, um, which are all Camellia sinensis, has caffeine in it unless it is decaffeinated. Um, and that's a, a man-made man process. So this is potentially big news. Um, and tea as a whole is a hugely consumed beverage. It's the second most drunk beverage in the whole world next only to water and a large proportion, an ever increasing proportion of that is decaffeinated tea. Um, so there are lots of different ways to decaffeinate it. Um, <clears throat> some, some of them use chemicals which are obviously not advisable, it can really destroy or have negative impacts on both the taste and the health benefits. Um, but there are natural ways of decaffeinating it using carbon dioxide and, and things like that, um, which is what we do with our decaf breakfast. Um, so we are seeing a, an increasing demand for caffeine-free teas and also herbal and fruit infusions. But potentially this discovery could lead to a, a new type of tea that has absolutely no caffeine in it naturally whatsoever. Um, so we'll have to wait to see whether this um, does in fact lead to more progress within the tea industry or whether it does fizzle out to, to nothing. But what is exciting is that we're constantly coming across new discoveries. I mean, these tea bushes will have been there for hundreds of years and we're only just discovering the properties within them now. So that's what I find really fascinating about the tea industry. And if you are looking to cut down on your caffeine count, however, um, obviously things like um, decaffeinated teas, like this decaf breakfast here, um, could be a really good idea. Um, when you decaffeinate tea, you are going to have a, a tiny residual amount of caffeine in it, and only a small amount, something like 2 to 2.5%. Two so it will have, have a very negligible effect on you. Um, but yeah, it's a good alternative. Um, as are fruit and herb infusions. Um, Roy Boss in particular is a very good one because the taste profile is quite similar to tea. And allegedly it's got almost as many health benefits as tea itself. Um, and our new um, blender, African Sunset, is a, a rooibos with pineapple pieces and guava in it, um, which is a, a great alternative as well. And it means you can keep keep on drinking all night long. So yeah, do head on over to our, our website at etiquette.co.uk to check out more of our herb and fruit infusions and indeed our decaffeinated teas. And if you've got any questions, please do give us a shout or pop into our concept store or tea room in Edinburgh. Thank you.